All right. Now we're going to look through net ionic equations. Okay, on the board behind me, we've done the problem from double displacement already. Um, it's already completed for us. Okay, net ionic. The purpose of this is to figure out what really happened um, when we did this. Okay, what really took place when we actually did this experiment. So here's what it says. Um, I've already balanced it. So it says two aluminum iodides, which are aqueous, dissolved in water, plus three lead nitrates, lead two nitrates, aqueous, will yield two aluminum nitrates, aqueous, plus three lead iodides, and that's a solid. That last one is a solid. Okay? So let's go ahead and go through this um, and see what we get. Um, first thing that you want to do is what we call a total ionic equation. I'm only showing you this once, the total. And the purpose of this is so you can really see what's going on in these problems, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write, how many aluminums do I really have? I have two aluminums, two aluminums. They have a three plus charge and they are dissolved in water, aqueous. So two aluminums, three plus charge, and it's dissolved in water. Plus, I have two times three, six iodides, okay, or iodines, each with a negative one charge, and it's dissolved in water, okay? That's all that we're doing is we're taking how many aluminums do I have, what's the charge, is it dissolved in water? How many iodides do I have? What's the charge? Is it dissolved in water? Let's keep going. Plus, I have three leads. Each lead has a two positive charge. Okay, and it's dissolved in water. Plus, I have three times two nitrate ions. Now we're taking the ion. We are not taking the atom, we're taking the ions. So three times two is six nitrate ions. Okay, and those are also aqueous. So we have all of this stuff in solution. They are literally floating around trying to figure out, can I bond, can I get with this other ion? And what we see this by the product side. We see, did any of them actually hook up um, by the product side? So, let's look at the product side. On this side, we have two aluminum still. Each aluminum has a three plus charge, and it's aqueous, okay? And then we have two times three which is six nitrate ions, which are also aqueous, okay? So we're doing the same thing we did over here, but what we notice is that we also have three lead I2s, lead two iodides, that are solids. So a solid isn't roaming around in solution, a solid is stuck together. We cannot separate something that is physically stuck together. So I would write plus three lead to iodides. Okay, and that's a solid. So plus three lead to iodides, and that's a solid. Just wanna make sure that you guys saw that, okay? So this is called the total ionic equation right here, this middle line right here. And that's because it lists all the ions that we have in solution and everything that we have going on. Now, the net ionic equation is a lot simpler. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cross out everything that occurs on both sides. If you look on the left here, we have two aluminums. I crossed it out because I have two aluminums right here. Okay, they are exactly the same. I also have six nitrate ions and I have six nitrate ions here. 
So your net ionic, and you can't cross out six I negative ones, six iodines, because you don't have that. You have three lead iodides right there, okay? You do not have the exact same thing on both sides. So the net ionic equation, we just list what's left. Six I negative plus three lead ions, and that will give me, as an arrow, three lead two iodides, and that's a solid, okay? So this is called your net ionic equation, okay? This is what really happened, was six iodide ions were in solution, and they joined three lead ions, and that formed a three lead iodide solution, or sorry, three lead iodide solid, okay? I'm going to give you another example, and we're going to go through it. As soon as I write it on the board, um, feel free to give it a try, though. These are a little bit trickier, so practice is very important. All right, let's write this one up there. I have magnesium sulfate, which is aqueous, plus two silver nitrates, which is also aqueous. And that will give me Silver sulfate, which is solid, plus magnesium nitrate. So make sure you can read that. MgSO4 aqueous plus 2AgNO3 aqueous gives me Ag2. SO4 solid plus Mg NO3 parentheses 2. That's aqueous. Okay? So let's go ahead. Because um, I did total last time, we're going to do total again since it can be quick. Okay? So total ionic equation, that's what this line is that I'm about to do. Okay? So Mg, we have 1 Mg, the charge. 2 plus, is it aqueous? Yes. Plus, how many sulfates do you have? You have one sulfate. So plus one sulfate. Charge of two negative, it's aqueous. Plus, this is also aqueous, two silvers, two AGs, each with plus one, the charges I'm getting from the periodic table, silver, zinc, and aluminum, you have memorized. Nitrate, all your polyatomics, you also know. So nitrate, we only have, sorry, we have two of them. Because of that too, there are two nitrates, and those are aqueous. And this will give us silver sulfate, which is a solid. Remember, solids you cannot split up, so I won't be splitting up the solid. I'm just going to leave it. Ag2SO4, okay, plus I have a couple aqueous parts right there. So I have magnesium, I have one magnesium. Charge of magnesium is 2 plus, it's aqueous. Charge of magnesium is 2 plus, it is aqueous. And then I have nitrate, I have two nitrates. So plus two nitrates. 
Usually I would write down the same line. I would encourage you to do so. I'm obviously going to run out of room and you won't be able to see what I did. So um, usually I'll write down the same line. So let's look at net ionic equation. This is total ionic. Make sure you write that. Net ionic equation, you take out what's the same on both sides. Here we have Mg2 plus over here, Mg2 plus. Two NO3s, two NO3s. So your net ionic equation is whatever's left on this side, which is one sulfate plus two silvers and that will give me whatever's left over here A G 2 SO4 and that's it this is your net ionic equation in yellow um, the total ionic is what I wrote in white when I didn't cross it out okay so net ionic may be one of the most confusing parts of this. Um, if you have questions, just let us know. We're roaming around. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed.